Switch Station 32 back for another video. I hope you guys are, will still enjoy the videos. I've been gone for a little while. Uh, something happened in uh, her life. We lost somebody and uh, I lost the passion for making videos after that and uh, playing games and stuff. But uh, now I'm back into it. Some time's passed and uh, I hope that don't uh, bother you guys. But saying that, We'll get into it, and uh, I'm going to uh, start off with Metroid Dread, the Collector's Edition. Now, I've had this for a little while, but I just, uh, I was in a funk, so I never get into it. And I didn't want to open it without sharing it with you guys. So, we're going to start, start knocking videos out again. And uh, the channel's been doing alright, even in my absence. I have been uh, doing stuff to make sure the videos are getting shared. One of my good friends, he played Metroid Dread and he told me it was awesome. He was playing it when it first came out. He got me super pumped up for it. I already had the collector's edition uh, pre-ordered. My kid's switch ended up breaking. And uh, I give him my switch, so I, have, I gotta get a new switch. I'm hoping to get the OLED sometime. We'll unbox that on the channel. My, one of my good friends told me about this game. He was playing it when it first came out. He's one of my best friends. And... He loved this game. He said it's hard, but it's it's just hard enough that it's frustrating, but in a good way. And uh, he loved it. I'm pretty, pretty sure he played multiple playthroughs. And uh, I can't wait to uh, open this. And I'm pretty sure he's looking forward to this video too. This is a beautiful collector's edition. One thing about Nintendo Switch their collector's editions are the best. They're, they're small, they're compact, they pack a lot of stuff in them and they look good on the shelf. Playstations are awesome collector's editions. They're big, they come with a nice statue, but they're really expensive and you can't, if you don't have a big, big game room, you can't really put the boxes anywhere. You have to take the stuff out of the box and then put it on a shelf and then put the box away. So you're not really displaying the collector's edition. I was, I had the Horizon Zero Dawn one pre-ordered, but I canceled it because it came with a statue and it came with a steel book, but it didn't come with a disc. Just come with a digital copy, and I didn't really like that because I'm gonna have to. I felt like I was going to have to go buy the disc later on, buy the game with the disc, just to put it in my steel case. I don't want to have a steel case and no disc to put it in. I don't, I don't like that. And uh, I think Nintendo Switch has been killing it with their collector's editions. So saying that, let's get into it. I'm really, I'm really, really excited to see this. I haven't watched any videos to see what's in here. All I seen was the picture when I first pre-ordered it. That was a while ago now. Looks like coming out. That's what looks so good on the shelf. Look at that. Even their box has a little artwork. That's really cool. I've never seen that before. There was no normal case with this. Just the, just the steel case. Here's your back droid. I assume these are your cards. And these are what they look like. Oh man, that's awesome. Original mat droid. That's super cool. These are nice cardboard too. They almost look like a hologram, but they're not. They don't like change, but they're nice and shiny like a hologram. Metroid 2, Shamus Returns on Game Boy. I don't have this one, I wanna get into it. Probably the best Metroid game ever made. Super Metroid, I do have this on Super Nintendo. Metroid Fusion, I have this too. I have the regular one on NES too, I forgot to mention. And there's your Metroid Dread one. Really cool. It just comes with the steel case, which is still cool. Really nice steel case. So the steel book, it's a really nice steel book. Almost like a mat. I wish it would have come with like a normal Nintendo Switch uh, case, but it didn't. Here's the inside of it. There's your game. And I love that this is a 2D 2D platformer. I can't wait to try that. That's so awesome. Everybody's a pumped up for Metroid Prime 4. Not me. I like the 2D ones better. I'll be I was way more excited for this to come out than when I seen the logo for Metroid Prime 4. The one for the 3DS, I wish it would have came out on the Nintendo Switch. So when they announced this one, I was really pumped. Here's the art book. This is a big art book. 
It's heavy. Really nice artwork. Feels matte, has shiny, has a logo on it, logo on the back. This is awesome. It has the Japanese artwork for Metroid. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know if you can see in the center, but this is all stitched together. This ain't glued, it's stitched together, which is really cool. This is all the artwork for Metroid 1. Then it goes into Metroid 2. I love that it's wide. And every one of these has artwork. And look at all them sketches. And most people's favorite, Super Metroid. Look at the artwork there. I'm going to have to get a widescreen lens for the camera. This is really cool. I've never seen this picture before. The map, that's really cool. In color. Let me know if that was in a Nintendo Power or something. Anybody else seen that? Metroid Fusion. This one I never get into too much. As you can see, the artwork's getting a little more modern, not too much. Metroid Samus Returns. Awesome artwork. And as you can tell, the artwork's getting more and more modern as we go through. Then we'll get into Metroid Dread, and we'll get show everything in Metroid Dread because I don't I don't want everything to be spoiled for anybody that hasn't played the game yet. But this is a really nice art book. This is one of my favorite art books that's come with a collector's edition. Is this one has this one has the history. This here's the stuff I really like. The hand sketches and shows how it became what it was, the original art form. Here's some of the map. They show a lot of the background. Oh, I'm excited to play this just by going through this. And anyone that doesn't know, they showed the history of Metroid and link all the games together with this game. You'll find out that through the story. I don't know how that works yet because I haven't played it, but I, I know that happens because I've read it. The artwork in this book's amazing. So, that'll be Switch Station 32 back for a video. I hope you guys will continue following the channel. I've been off for a while. As for the Collector's Edition, highly recommend it. If you're a Metroid fan, I recommend, highly recommend it for sure. It's a great, great Collector's Edition. Probably one of my favorite ones ever. That'll be Switch Station 32. Back for another video. If you like it, leave a like and a subscribe. Share it. Uh, comment. I love reading all your comments. I try to get back to everybody.